Hi, it's Nicole Audis. This video will show you how to change the care cards using pixel art. So we'll go to getmylockets.com slash artwork slash care cards or if you just go to the artwork page you'll see all the different pieces of artwork and you can click on care cards and you'll get to this page. So let's, um, I'm actually going to refresh this page. Make sure I have the latest one. Okay, so we're going to download the two JPEG files. So let's download these. These are the instructions. So we're going to right click where it says JPEG file, save link as. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Oops, I already have it. So I'm just going to write over it. And then I have um, all of the owl side where you write your name. And let's put this on the desktop also. This is the front side. Okay, so once I have those saved to the desktop, I can go over to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com, and then I'll open up the Pixlr editor. That's the left one. And we'll open an image from our computer. And on our desktop, we want to work with the front JPEG, the one that has the picture of all of the owl. So now that we have this open on our screen, let's click over here on the left is your tools. And you'll want to click on the type tool, which is this letter A right here. And I'm just going to click right here in the center underneath um, Olive. I'll type my name. I'm going to type it in all lowercase because I like the way that looks in Pacifico. It matches the origami owl style. And let's go down. I use the, I drag the bar down here rather than doing the arrow because it skips too many and I can never find it. So I just go till I see it. Pacifico, there it is. I want to make it a lot bigger. And white. Click your little arrow on the color. Drag this thing up to the top and hit OK. And hit OK. Now it's off to the side, so one thing you can do is just click in it and center it. Sometimes that doesn't work. If that doesn't work, you can click on the arrow tool and just drag it over until you think it looks centered. And and let's go ahead and make another layer. I'll click on the type tool again. And this time I'm going to put my website. But I don't want it in this font. I want to change the font to League Gothic. So I'm going to find League Gothic in here. There it is. And I like it in all caps. And then white again. Some of you might want your name in pink. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go back over here. On the right hand side there is a layers palette. You'll see there's two text layers and a background layer. So you could turn these on and off by these little check marks. Or you could select your, Nicole, your name layer by clicking on it. And you can move things around. So let's go back to our type tool and let's click on our layer with Nicole Otis. We'll click on color and then we'll scoot this out of the way and you'll see that you can actually, it gives you a little sucker tool and you can grab a color out of this file. So I want to grab this pink. I really like the pink on the turquoise. And I'll just hit OK and OK. And then it looks like my layer got moved a little bit. So let me fix that. Move this back down. You could put whatever information you want here. I just put my my website and my email address. Typically, I don't put my phone number on this because this is not meant to be a business card. It's just a card that I put in the top of the little boxes when I package up my my lockets to give to people when they're either when their hostess order comes in or the party. I will package them up nice and cute so that they have the care card with my information in case they have questions. They can email me or go to my website. 
So let's add another layer and it will be my email. Oops. Let's do this one in all lowercase. Sometimes this scoots down to the bottom, so let's go back up here. I think I'll choose white again for this. And hit OK, and it's way too big. So let's take it down a notch. And I don't like this font either. It's hard to read. It's OK for your name, but it's hard to read any information that you want them to actually be able to type in. So I'm going to find League Gothic again. Let's hit arrow and I'll scoot this down. That's a little bit small, so let's grab our type tool. Click there. Make it, let's make it a uh, 46. That's good. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard if your mouse isn't letting you center it exactly. So I think that's good and now I will go up here to the file menu in within my browser and I'll do save. So file save or control S on a Windows computer or command S on a Mac. And then the, be the better quality file is a TIFF file so if you could just save it out as a TIFF file when it prints, it won't have any sort of JPEG compression to it. And let's hit the OK button. And then we'll save it down to my desktop again. Oops, keep going into that file folder. Save it to my desktop. And it takes a minute, so just be patient. It will, it says working, please wait. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So now I have that and I can go over to get my business cards and order that. And I could show you again how to do that really quick. So let's start over. Let me remove this from my cart from the last video. So let's go to getmybusinesscards.com. And you can get 100 is $20. And then you can add round corners for $10, or you can leave the corners square. I really like the round corners, um, but that's just up to you what preference, what you like. So I'll click on Home. So when you get to Get My Business Cards um, website, you can go to Order at the top. Oops, I clicked on it. Just one second. Sorry, my computer's catching up. <laughs> okay, so if we hold over order, you'll see a little menu pops down and we'll choose my artwork is ready. And then once you get to my artwork is ready, you can scroll down. I think it's all the way at the bottom and you click on the square cards. They're two and a half inches square. And they're, it's really easy to order these. You just um, scroll down a little bit. You just choose three options and then you upload the front and the back that we just worked on. And then you just put in your shipping information and payment information. So let's say we want 100 cards. Actually, let's get a little bit more. Let's get 250. And let's get, oh, we'll do, I like the round corners, but I'll, for this example, show you the square. And then let's do UV gloss front and map back. So the front file, whichever side you want to be glossy. Now you could do both sides glossy, of course, or both sides matte. Uh, I'll just show you how you do this. So the front side will always be the glossy side and the back will be the matte side. So just choose your file. And so we want our front as a TIFF file. We'll open that. And then our back was that JPEG file and it says back. I named it back. And that's the care card instructions. It looks like that. 
So hit open and that's it. Then you just add it to your cart down here on this little button. And it uploads your artwork right there. It doesn't give you a preview because you already know what they look like. And um, so let's go to the next page. So basically, here's your cart. You have your cards in there. It shows you all the options you chose. Square, UV glass front, matte back. That's the name of the file the, that you used for the front and for the back. And then you can click on proceed to check out. And if you'll notice down here, the shipping is ground. It's $6. And you'll still get it in one day. Some areas of the U.S., like 10% of the U.S., takes two days to get to you. But um, that's just for the shipping. They have to print it, of course, which takes um, two to four days. Sometimes it's really, really fast. So it just depends on you know if you have round corners, square corners, which product you're ordering. Um, but they send you a link so you can follow the progress of your job as it goes along. So it's nice. And then you get your tracking code. So you'll just click proceed to check out and put in your payment information and all that. And then you'll get a confirmation email. And that's it. That's how you order the cards and edit them if you wanted to not use the PDF version and you wanted to have a little more control over what your name looks like. So I think that's it. Okay, you guys have a great night. Let me know if you have any questions.